What's up, family and friends? Good afternoon, and welcome to this live broadcast. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. It's a great day, and uh, I encourage you to have fun wherever you are. Life is good. Life is not as they taught you. Life is not as they wish you. Life is better than that. Life is greater than that. And you have the will and the power to make your life better, to make your life more fun or fun feel. So as usual, I'm encouraging you to enjoy your life, all right? Because life is good. And today, I want to share with us very important, uh, is like the continuation of what I shared yesterday about who or what is greater than God Almighty. So this is like the part two of it. And yesterday, I spent more time on talking about how you and I, human, human beings are greater than God Almighty. And uh, I stopped at uh, morning. So let me continue from that morning. I think I will speak about money and uh, sex. So money, money is greater than God Almighty. Look at those people that run their mouth saying that no, you know, God, money is the root of all evil. Oh, God, put God number number one, make God the first, all that. Number one, if God is God, you don't need to put God first in your life or in anything you are doing. By telling people to put God first, it means that God is idol. Man made that God. That man can put God wherever man wants. You, do you get the idea? You can take your furniture because it is you that own the furniture. You, you bought that furniture. You can change the position of that furniture in your house. That's how it is when you when they tell you put God first, make God first. You are the one that is making God whatever God is. God Almighty does not exist. God Almighty cannot do anything without you. It is man that has been using God Almighty. It is man that has been directing God Almighty. God Almighty on his own can do nothing. And that is the factual truth which every one of you, you, yes, and I, we can verify it. No God will come and help you in time of need. But money can. Money is greater than God Almighty. That's why the church or religion without money will close down. You hear about churches selling their buildings because God failed to maintain it. God cannot maintain any of his house on earth because God is powerless. God is useless in reality. The reason why your pastor is wasting strong is because of money. The day your pastor stop receiving money, you will see how he will fold up and go and do some business. Money is not the root of all evil. Religion is the root of all evil. Lack of money is the root of all evil. Yes, this is uh, Christmas season, right? November to December. This is when people will be swallowing each other as serpent, as snakes, swallowing another snake to be bigger. This is when you see people lying, betraying one another because of money. Because they want to make money. They want to save some money they will spend, they will lavish in their villages, especially the Igbo people. This is the dangerous time in their, in their midst. All they are looking for is money 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 because god cannot provide money some of them will even miss church service this christmas season it doesn't matter they, they believe god will forgive them later 
but they want to make that money. So they can go to village and show the people in the village they have made it. God has blessed them. But that God failed to bless the people in their village. I hope you get what I'm saying. That God failed to bless the people in their village so they, they God, God blessed them in the city. But failed to bless the people in their village. So they're going to show off. Some of them going to renovate their houses. Some of them going to display their children. You know, to, so, to see how God has blessed them. But I, I always say that and I will keep saying that. The God that bless you, but can bless your people. That God is useless. That God is not worthy of your worship. You're not supposed to pay attention to that God. That God that requires money to act or to bless you, to favor you, that God is non-existent and useless in reality. That God is not worthy of your fear. That God is not worthy of your faith. That God is not worthy of your finance. Stop giving those criminals your money in the name of fear of God or in the name of love of God or in the name of work of God. This is the dangerous time when they rob you with the gun called Bible. Yes, they rob you with that gun. That is the gun they used to rob you. That is the gun they used to take your money from you and tell you it is for God. It is not. Money is greater than God. Is, have you gone to church one day? They say from hence, uh, from today onward, henceforth, no more tithes and offering. They cannot do that. But when you read your Bible, remember, Moses said to people, enough, stop bringing. The priests say we have enough. But your churches, your religions, they are the, like the daughters of leech. They are never enough. They never have enough. They never ask enough. They always make ways, new ways to exploit money from you. To tell you God need your money. God want your money. No. Any God that need your money or want your money does not exist. And that is not God. I mean, if it's almighty God that need your money, almighty God that want your money, fuck that God. Trust that God. Money is greater than God. You say, no, you don't know what you are talking. You are talking nonsense. Your life is the body of evidence. God cannot change your old clothes. God cannot clothe your children. God cannot give you money to pay salaries. God cannot give you money to buy food even for your hungry children. God cannot do that. You are the one that walk, make that money, or beg to make that money to give. It's not any God. God is too powerless. God is too useless to provide for you. That's why the, 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 the criminals or ministers of God, whose God is their belly, are telling you, no, bring it, God will multiply. They use that smooth talk, that swelling words. Bring it, God will bless you hundredfold. God will multiply it. God will do this. Increase it, God will increase. So that's all. I, uh, you, no, nobody in his or her right mind will argue that money is not greater than God. If you give money to your pastor, he will increase the anointing. He will increase the prayer. They tell you about family deliverance. If you don't give them money, they are not coming to your family for any deliverance. Do you know that? Do you know they charge people for family deliverance? They charge people for things. Just as Roman Catholic people are charging people for mass. Many things so that you can save your, love, your dead loved ones from purgatory and all that bullshit. Remember, everything Pentecostals are doing, everything Protestants are doing, Roman Catholic Church is the head of it. There is no error. There is no evil. There is no, there is no wickedness you see in Protestants or Pentecostals that is not rooted in Roman Catholic Church. 
but many of you don't know the history of Roman Catholic Church, especially the African Catholic members. They don't know. African Catholics, they are the most ignorant people in Africa. You mentioned Mary, their brain died. Mary made their brain dead. Just you mentioned Mary, Maria Dianso, that's it. They don't care about facts. All they know is you mentioned Mary, that's good. We're going to, uh, uh, Mother Mary is praying for us. We're going to make it. So the second thing that is greater than God, uh, I thought to this, what is greater than God? Sex. Sex is greater than God. Sexual urge is greater than God. You say, beggar, can you go created sex? Go. No, God didn't create any sex. Sex is a natural thing, it's not a spiritual thing, it's not a religious thing. Sexual urge. Show me that anointed young man of God that will not bow before sexual urge. Every God bow before sex. Every God, all of them. That's why religion devise means against sex. Because they know their God cannot stop people from having sex. Their God cannot stop his own servants from having sex. If, look at the Roman Catholic priest that uh, take the oath of, uh, what do they call it again? You know, they, they, they took oath not to have sex again. They are having sex with their mattress. They are having sex with their hand. They are having sex in their mind. <laughs> and if some of them go and marry secret and give to their love family members, they be going there, fucking them and giving, impregnating them, and they are having children. But I love those ones because they are smart, and that's what Africans should be doing. Use all those foreign religions to help yourselves. Don't defend it. You see any any African that is saying the truth about Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, don't try to defend Christianity, Islam, or Judaism. Don't defend them. They use them to benefit. Use them to show them that their God is useless in reality. That God does not exist. Jehovah cannot do anything in reality. Allah cannot do anything in reality. Yahweh cannot do anything in reality. Sexual urge. In Roman Catholic Church, they put somebody at the gate. If young women are coming, they don't dress the way they want. They chase them back. They say, you're coming to seduce the priest. What happened to the anointing? What happened to Mary in that place? What happened to the presence of the angels there? Huh? God cannot stop uh, his priest from having an erection when they see a beautiful, sexy woman. But you believe God created man and woman naked first, right? But now the people, the women, you say they dress, they dress half naked. They can seduce you, a man of God. You are a man of God Almighty. <laughs> you see how they are having marital problem, right? Chris or uh, The other one that built Mupu in in Abuja. Every of them, any man of God that tell you no. You know, a woman has not seduced me or that they are lying. Let me tell you how they are lying. Even Jesus said they are lying. Because Jesus said, if you lost after a woman, if you look at a woman and lost after her in your heart, you have committed adultery. Do you know the heart of that? You are a man of God. I remember one time Adeboye said uh, he was going to America. A woman called her, a woman in America called him and said, you know, I love you, blah, 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 blah. He say he refused. Bullshit. You know, they will always give you the testimony you want to hear. They will not tell you, do you know in his heart? <laughs> Unless he was castrated, even if he was castrated, so long he, has, he had sex one time in his life, he must say, man, this one, this, this boost is good. This figure, I like this one. <laughs> what Chris was telling me about lost, I said, there's no such thing as lost. Lost of what? It's not lost. It's not. It's normal thing. It's natural thing. If a man is man, when he see a woman, she, he, he, his body is supposed to react. Is is that simple? Man get erection when he see a woman. Of course, woman get wet when he see a man. I think some of them they said their nipple hard. It depends. 
I, all, uh, I don't know much about women because I'm not a woman. So women will say better how they feel when they see a man they like. When I see a woman I like, I have, I get erection. Of course, it's natural. That's why my pants have zip and button. I can zip it. I may have erection inside and not bringing it outside. Period. But do I like her? Yes, I like her. Why? Because she is my opposite sex. I don't have feelings for my same sex. I cannot see a man and get erection. But if I see a man that's trying to seduce me, I get upset. <laughs> because I am not your opposite sex. You're supposed to be attracted to your opposite sex. Any other thing other than that is, is wrong. It's not natural. Yes, even animals can teach you that. Somebody say, yeah, some animals that are gay, they are, I say, look at the goat, not lie. Another he goat, want to mount another he goat? Mm. He use a horn to kick. <laughs> Get out from me, I need a female. <laughs> not male, nonsense. Sexual urge. Sex, more powerful than God. Sex is greater than God. That's why you see men of God marrying. That's why you see some of them having sex outside their marriage. The anointing was there. God was there. And they were having sex. Also, although they tell you it is against God's will. You will go to hell if you are having sex with somebody who is not your wife. Stupid. Young pastors, you see young pastors, how they are falling on the laps of women? See how they gave you the story of Delilah and the Samson. They just gave you that story so that when you, when you say you are a servant of God, a man of God, when you see women, wrong. Because they don't want you to expose the powerlessness of their God. God did not save Samson from Delilah. <laughs> and... Delilah shaved his anointing off. Delilah shaved his head off because Delilah was greater than God. When a man sees a woman he loves or he has feeling for, it doesn't matter the level of anointing upon him. He's going after that woman. But these days, pastors do it in secret because they are protecting their public image. And that's why they are hypocrites. There is no man of God that is not an hypocrite. Everyone that is living by faith is living a his, 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 hypocritical life. They are lying to themselves and to people. They are not living the real life. Both from their dressing to their everything they are doing in the pupit, outside pupit, they are do, living a fake life. They don't go and pay for hotel where well, they will sleep with, make law or sleep with a woman. No, they give their church members money to go and do that for them then sometimes they dress the way they disguise themselves or they come in the middle of night when much people will not see them because they don't know who is who they are anointed of god but sex drive sex sexual urge sex is greater than god and that's why religion rose against sex and they started with roman catholic church some of you don't know about St. Augustine. St. Augustine was a prostitute, living with a prostitute in a hotel. Then after, at age 72, he denounced sex. He's the one that made Christianity, you see today what it is, St. Augustine, an African man. You know Africans, when it comes to sex, they carry force. They don't play with sex. Any God that tell African man don't have sex, you know, that God is wicked. <laughs> The African man multiplied through sex a lot. You see, they have been killing Africans here. They are not finishing because they have, they have, they are strong. Their women are good goalkeepers. You shoot, they catch, they keep, <laughs> they keep producing. You can't stop them. Augustine said no sex. That's why you see the Macaulay Church people taking that oath, oath of no sex. You know, you decided a man. And you believe that God created you perfect. Now you say you will not have sex. You will not have anything to do with women sexually because of your calling. That's nonsense.
Augustine introduced all that manner of evil against sex because of his own ugly experience. He went and lived with a harlot. And at old age, after he enjoyed his life as, you, as a young person, now he's old at age 72. He said, no sex. He said, the any sex you have, if not for having children or a baby, he said, it is sin against their God. You see that? That's why I say, if you look at a woman and lost in your heart, you say, you are adultery. You are, you are adulterer. No, you are not. It's not my thing. To have sex, of course, if the woman consent, there's nothing bad about it. And it is your life, you're supposed to live it. Enjoy your life. Don't let religion rob you your happiness, rob you your fulfillment, especially your sexual fulfillment. You need it. That's how Roman Catholic made it for all christians to see sex as evil see sex as a spiritual thing something that can rob you your relationship with god imagine that god gave you penis and vagina and now it can stop you from having relationship with him it can stop you from going to his heaven he say your body is the temple of god but that body will not enter the kingdom of god can't you think if your body is the temple of God and they say that body will not enter the kingdom of God no matter how holy you are. So what makes you think, still believe that uh, having sex will stop you from, from entering the kingdom of God? Sex is with your body. But they spiritualize it. If your body, he said no flesh shall enter the kingdom of God. Flesh. He said you will be changed at the last trump. When the last trumpet sound, he said, you will be changed. A new body will be given to you. Celestial body, right? Will be given to you. Then why are you attaching importance or the importance of your relationship with that God, with this body, that will not enter the kingdom of God? And you see many people, especially especially Africans struggling with that nonsense since Augustine and Roman Catholic Church made up and the soul to people force on people not even so they force it on people you see even married people among Christian uh, among Christians struggling with sex see them struggling with sex because of the nonsense they read in the Bible or what their, their church or religion taught them. God cannot stop a pastor from impregnating the young lady he slept with. God cannot. You said it's a sin, but you believe God is the one that gives children. If it's a sin, why would God allow his, pre, his pastors, his men of God, to impregnate them. God bless the, the sex or the, the intercourse or the relationship with a child and you telling me it's evil. No, it's not. You are the one that is evil. You that is stopping people from getting married or having sex, you are evil. You are the evil one. Any religion, any teaching, anyone that forbids you from having sex is evil. That means that person or that religion or that, that, that church or that man or woman is against nature, against the truth. They convince you to believe it is wrong. Sex is a spiritual thing. There is that spiritual connection. When you have sex with somebody, that's bullshit. There's no spiritual connection anywhere when it comes to sex you agree i agree we have sex period and you're married your husband or your wife refuse to give you sex you can get it from somewhere else quote me and their god cannot stop that that's why you see pastor's wife sleeping with church member that's why you see pastor sleeping with church member married pastors because their god cannot stop it if their God cannot stop, stop, stop them from having sex under the anointing, what makes you think that God can stop me 
from saying what I'm saying. No way. Look at them. Money and sex. Money or sex is greater than God. Pastors can lie because of money. All right? Of course. They even steal because of money. The deacons, people counting money in the church, they steal too. Church members steal. Go where they're doing business, they do many things to make money. And when it comes to women, of course, they fuck around too. Know the truth and live your life. Life is beautiful. Stop letting religion to make life seem ugly and negative to you. All right? Peace.